Today we're going to install the Putco Nitrolux LED headlight replacements on this 2019 F-150 for both the low beams and the high beams. Let's go and get started. All right, so I've already gone ahead and removed the negative battery terminal. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the shroud. I've got a total of 14 push pins that need to come out. Let me show you how each one of those pull out. What I like to do is get the top of it loose. Once that's loose, I can go underneath and pop the pin out, set it to the side. All right, now I got these four bolts across the top. Those need to come out using a 10 millimeter. All right, now typically there's a couple of clips over here that you would remove. This truck does not have that. So we're gonna go ahead and move to our wire harness. Go ahead and disconnect that. Just unplug it and pull it out. Uh, and then also the fastener that holds the wire harness in place, remove that as well. All right, now this particular truck has a factory installed fender flare. This definitely makes it a little more tedious, but let me show you how to get past this. What you've got here is a uh, bolt that's holding the fender flare in place here. You're gonna remove that with a seven millimeter. Now, because we have the factory fender flare, there's a couple of clips underneath this panel right here. Uh, and there's also a clip here. We're gonna have to get this fender flare free of all three of those clips in order to get this piece loose. So go ahead and start wiggling that loose. And then you're gonna pop it free from the clips. Okay, now I've got the fender flare loose from these three clips. I'm gonna need to go ahead and pull this loose from the fender panel. So I need to pull out towards me and that will pop it loose. All right, once we've done that, what I like to do is flip that around and take a cloth, put it in between there just to protect your paint. We're gonna repeat this whole process on the opposite side as well. All right, now that I got both sides free, I'm gonna go ahead and work one side to the other and pull it all the way out. All right, now we've got a couple of bolts that are holding the grill in place, one on each side. This is gonna pull out with an eight millimeter. Do that on both sides. All right, now the only thing holding this grill in place is the clips. Let's go ahead and pull it straight out. All right, so next what we're gonna do is remove this bolt right here using an eight millimeter. Now this one's gonna come out with a 10. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and remove this push fastener. All right, these two bolts right here have to come out using a 10 millimeter. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pull the headlight housing out. All 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and do the low beam that's up top. We're going to pull the plug off of here and then just reach inside, give the bulb a twist, and that'll pull straight out. Once the bulb is out, squeeze the housing down below and pop it out. Make sure if you're going to reuse this bulb ever, don't touch it with your fingers. All right, now with your replacement bulb, first make sure your connectors are together and screw the fastener together so it doesn't let any moisture in. Next, before you insert the, uh, the light bulb, what we want to do is fan everything out. Now, in order to do that, you just want to pull the copper mesh apart like so. This is your heat sink. If you do not pull the copper mesh apart, you actually void your warranty. This has to be fanned out so it can properly have uh, plenty of surface area to disperse the heat. Now we're gonna go ahead and line up the three tabs to the opening, push it in place and give it a, a clockwise turn. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tuck our fanned out heat sinks down inside our housing. So the way I'm gonna do that is just rotate that down inside like so. Next, we're gonna go ahead and connect our anti-flicker housing and connector to our factory connector the light bulb came out of. Once that's in place, what we're gonna do is fit this all down inside the housing. Next, we're gonna replace our dust cover. Always replace your dust cover. This keeps dust and moisture out of your headlight assembly. All right, now we can go ahead and reinstall the headlamp the same way it came off and repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and slide the grill into place. I like to use these guides to get everything lined up. And then just snap it into all the pins. Now we can go ahead and reattach the grill at the bottom with the bolts using an eight millimeter. Do that on both sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and clip this piece back into place starting with the center. work it to the side. When our trim piece is popped back in, I went ahead and pulled the clips out of this portion and put them back into the fender flare. That way I can just line it up and snap it in place. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the push pin and the factory bolt. And repeat the same process for the opposite side. All right, now we can go ahead and reattach the fastener up top and plug the harness back in. Next, we'll reattach the four bolts up top using the 10 millimeter. And if you do have the two push pins that go into these locations, install those now. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reattach the shroud with the factory push pins exactly the same way that came off. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.